And I conclude with one hadith and one final advice. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he taught us that in our adhkaru sabah wal masa, we're supposed to say, La ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al mulk wa lahu al hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. A hundred times. A hundred times. This hundred times could be divided during the day and the night. It didn't have to be consecutive. You can say 50 in the day and 50 in the afternoon. But in one day you say it a hundred times. And what's the result? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, number one, wipes away a hundred sayyat. Who commits a hundred sins a day? Yeah, who among us commits a hundred sins a day? Yani the idea is even if you're committing a hundred sins, there's your solution. Every morning to say it a hundred times and it'll clean these hundred sins of yours. And then it raises a person 100 levels in the paradise. And then you are the best of mankind on the day of judgment, except someone who has set up more than you. He deserves to be in number one position. As Salaf rahimahumallah, minimum 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 times a day. That, that's minimum of dhikrullah. And I'm, I'm giving you a reality. When you read in their biography, you find, and this one 600, 6,000 times. 5,000 times, old woman, 10,000 times minimum. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest effect of it is that it doesn't only bring you closer to Allah, even though that's huge as a reward, but it cleans you from your sins, which if you realized how big and how huge sins are, you would not waste a second in asking Allah for forgiveness. Number two, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, it is equal in reward to as though you have freed 10 slaves from the children of Ismail. Yani, the slaves from the children of Ismail are the Arab slaves. And it was known that the Arab slave is much more expensive than any other slave because of the strength he has, the ability he has and so on. But what does it mean that you free 10 slaves? What, what does that mean? For me and you, what does that mean? In another hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he teaches us the reward of freeing a slave. He says that the reward of freeing a slave, for every limb of his you free, it is your freedom of Jahannam. Yani ten, you freed ten slaves, this is your freedom from Jahannam ten times. How, did it cost you anything? La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Did you have to lift anything? Did you have to run and walk to something? Did you have to pay anything? Nothing. Cheap, cheap solution from Allah Azza wa Jal and we still don't value it. Did you say it today a hundred times? Did you plan to say it a hundred times? If I was to tell you free 10 slaves a day, the multi-millionaire won't be able to do that for long. Might do it for a few years and then it is bankrupt. Number three, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, it earns a person a hundred hasadat. This is why a dhikr is one of the most effective ways in how one purifies and cleanses his nafs from a sayyat. The dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the most effective methods in how one cleanses himself from a sayyat. And if he does so, declared aflaha, successful by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in another hadith, he says, Yani whoever says, Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum wa atubu ilayh. Listen, very simple dua to remember. Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum wa atubu ilayh. What's the result? Listen to this result. The Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, غفر له وإن كان قد فر من الزحف. That Allah Azza wa Jal would forgive him even if he ran away from the battlefield. Now understand this. You know that running away when you're already on the battlefield, engaged in war against the enemy of Allah, and you turn your back and you run away, that is a major sin. Not a minor sin, it's a major sin. This dua here, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, whoever says this dua, Allah would forgive him even if he gave his back to the enemy, which is a major sin. In other words, this one dua is powerful enough to even clean you from the major sins, not only the minor sins, even from the major sins. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.